real reason, in case you thought it was some thrown by some careless maiden in Stirling. <laughs> so I went to the wedding, a nice wedding in Blackpool. Nice wedding, just the usual type of wedding, a, a man and a woman getting married, that was all. Well, that was all that was in it, as far as I could see. Eight times married, I didn't know that, but the fellow sat beside me, he knew it. Eight times married, he said, in a whisper that carried all over the church. <laughs> and then I realized it myself as soon as I heard the organist. He didn't play Here Comes the Bride, he played Here We Are Again. <laughs> There was a woman there with the longest nose I've ever seen. <laughs> now, I have nothing against long noses. We have them in our family. They run in our family. <laughs> but she had a real beaut. You could have touched it. I didn't, but you could have touched it. <laughs> and I thought, if things don't liven up, I'll touch her nose. <laughs> And what attracted me to it, speaking neutral gender, was the way she turned the pages of the hymn book. And this woman with the long nose was seated opposite me, and I was trying to ignore her, without being rude, because it's so easy to be rude. But I was fascinated by her nose and what she could do with it. <laughs> I watched her pick a bun up from the floor. I was just trying to get it over my foot at the time. <laughs> and then it all happened. I said, and her eyes met, and uh, I didn't know what to do, so, so I nodded. I said, hello. And, and she nodded back and cut the cake. <laughs> of course, the bride was in tears. You know. So was the cake. <laughs> and suddenly, she raised her head and her nose, and she's sniffing above. And she said, There's someone cooking cabbage in Manchester. <laughs> I said to the bridegroom, Why has the cake got candles? Oh, he says, Did you not know? He says, It's the bride's birthday. I don't know what age she was, but the heat was desperate. <laughs> and this long-nosed woman was at my back. I knew that with the constant prodding I was getting. <laughs> At least I was hoping it was her. <laughs> and then she slipped. <laughs> and as she fell, she fell face downwards. <laughs> and as straight as a die, she made straight for the tram line. And her nose lodged in the aperture of the line. <laughs> So we took a chance and a few of us bent down. And we tugged and pulled and we couldn't dislodge her nose. So we ended up by picking her up by the legs. <laughs> and we wheeled her along to the depot. <laughs> to me, Chick, he had all the ingredients that you need 